Now Sky has been showing 3D sports in pubs up and down the country for the last few months. But today, the 1st of October 2010, Sky has launched its residential 3D channel so people can watch 3D from Sky in their living room. Now, like many people, I don't have 3D TV at home, so I've had to come out to the Theatre District in Milton Keynes in the Slug and Lettuce pub to see this 3D in effect. And I'm going to go and speak to Michael Briggs now and see what his first impressions are. So, Mike, it's very grim outside. I hope it hasn't ruined the 3D Ryder Cup for you. Unfortunately, Ben, it has. Rain has suspended play. So what have you been watching in 3D for the last hour? It's the guys at Sky um, talking about golf in the studio, some interviews with golfers. Um, that's about it. And how does that look in 3D? Well, um, it, it's not really a great 3D experience to watch people just in studios. It's, it's not really what the technology is made for. This is, this is an event technology and um, unfortunately the event is cancelled today. I guess that highlights the dearth of content that's currently available. Yeah, well they had some uh, rugby and football on in the clips and that looked really, really good. Um, the golf itself, the clips we've seen there, I I'm not too sure what 3D is actually adding to golf itself. What other options are there for watching 3D at home? Well, Virgin um, just pipped Sky to the post with uh, their 3D service, which was launched a couple of days ago, and that's their on-demand movie service. But um, just like Sky, content's thin on the ground. I think they've got one movie at the moment, which is Street Dance 3D. So if you want to watch 3D at home, what will you need? Well, you need a 3D TV, you need the 3D glasses, um, you can have a 3D Blu-ray player and some 3D Blu-ray discs to watch with it, or you can get the, uh, the, the package from uh, Sky with the Sky HD box, or indeed uh, you now have the Virgin On Demand service as well. That works with your existing Sky HD box, you don't need to upgrade it? No, not at all. Um, uh, Sky 3D will work with the Sky HD box. We've got it all set up at the lab to test that everything works as it should. Well, we're going to have a look at that now, but first I just want to chat to the manager of this pub to see how well 3D has been received on weekends showing 3D Premier League football matches. Well, hi Chad, um, how has uh, 3D sports been received in your pub? It hasn't been too bad, we probably expected a lot more. Um, we probably get an average about maybe 25 to 30 people per game. Um, I think the concept's still new, we don't really get enough games for, for people to get it. We probably get about three games a month at the moment. And those that have watched it, do you think it's enriched the experience for them because it's been in 3D? It's, it's a different viewing point, yes. We still have people come upstairs, you've got the 3D option, but they will still watch 2D. Um, so I don't know if it's, I'm not sure if it's, if it's right yet, especially with viewing angles, etc., etc. Well, that was interesting to hear what Chad had to say. Um, we're in the lab now, and Mike, it looks like the golf's begun. Um, no, it's still rained off, Ben. This is a recording from earlier this morning, before it all got called off. Um, what this does show that uh, Sky HD box does work with 3D, just as we expected. I guess it also shows that uh, it works on not only the passive TVs like they've got in the pubs, but also the active shutter. Yeah, we were looking at the LG passive in the pub. This is our benchmark uh, Panasonic active shutter TV. Um, yeah, it works fine with that. The downside is uh, you have to wear the active shutter glasses like these Panasonic ones here, which are really heavy and uncomfortable and you know, cost quite a few quid. Not like the nice throwaway passive ones that we were using in the pub. Well, at least we've been able to record some of the golf, and I guess that means our viewing panel has been able to have a look at some of the clips. Yeah, they, they were really impressed with the title sequence on the golf. They, they thought that was great. The golf itself started, though, they, they, they were less impressed. I, I think they, they felt it looked a bit artificial and layered. Um, and they, we were having problems with bad luck for Sky, bad luck for everybody that the Ryder Cup has rained off, but particularly for 3D, we were getting raindrops on the lenses. Now, that's not a massive problem in 2D, but in 3D, if you just get it on one lens, that causes some sort of odd picture effects where you're kind of seeing smudges in one eye but not the other. Right, but it does seem as though it's the final piece in the 3D puzzle. We've got the TVs now, the 3D Blu-rays, a 3D on-demand service from Virgin, and Sky's 3D channel has just launched. Anything else to add? Yeah, uh, one slight little glitch that we spotted today in our test. Um, yeah, Sky HD box is famously easy to use, really, really nice system, nice menus, nice guide. Um, except when you try and use it in 3D. Watch this. Oh, that's 
Not very nice. Yeah, a little bit of an oversight. If you try and access the guide or any of the menu systems in 3D, you get that. Really, this is a bit of an oversight and, and hopefully it's something Sky uh, are going to uh, amend in the future. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, well, that's Sky's residential 3D TV channel that's launched today. Now, if you're interested in buying a 3D TV, I suggest you go to our website and check out our 3D TV reviews. That's witch.co.uk forward slash 3D TV.